Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how doctors should optimize their Google My Business listings. Now, once you have claimed your Google listing, uh, you would, you would, you know, after you log in, you will come to the dashboard here on, on Google on business.google.com, and once you're here, go and click on the info section, and this is where you start, you know, optimizing uh, your listing. The first thing you have to look at is is the name of your clinic. Okay, the name of your clinic should be exactly the same the way it is uh, shown on your signage. Okay, um, a lot of doctors I've seen uh, do the mistake of putting in you know stuffing in keywords here like um, X Y Z specialist clinic whatever, right? So don't do that. That's a mistake. You'll get penalized for it. So make sure that your name name of the clinic is correct. Next you need to go in and choose the category whatever specialization that you are you know that you have that is what you need to you know click here all right so in this case we are going with uh, the orthopedic clinic next is your address now this is very very important that your address is exactly the same as the way it is shown on the signage of, of your clinic and as well as uh, the address on your website and across your social media profiles so make sure that the address is exactly the same all right this is very important um, the other is next you can you know choose the service area wherever whichever area that you are uh, servicing um, then comes your timings now your timings are also very important make sure that they are accurate okay so that the patients you know the the timing what they see here is, is what you actually use again the phone number is another thing that should be exactly the same as as it is on your signage or on your website okay um, make sure that this name the address and the phone numbers are same across the board for all your properties okay whether they are digital properties or, or physical ones next is your we website obviously you put in the URL if you have a website here um, then you can go in you know the services right so when you when you choose the services according to the the primary category that you have chosen Google will automatically show you uh, you know other options like if you click here you can you know if you just do by consultation you put press that whatever so depending on the primary category that you've chosen you will be shown uh, relevant services that you can then choose so once you've done that now you come to the from the business section okay so the first thing here is the attributes so the attributes you know if you if you're a lady doctor you can always you know use that and it identifies women there and whatever accessibilities or amenities that you your clinic is showing you know right if you have restrooms use that if you have a wheelchair accessible elevator uh, stuff like that all right so whatever is is uh, relevant to you use that next you go down to add business description now this is also very very important that you fill this up completely uh, and uh, you know you can use um, stuff from your you know uh, description from your uh, about us page on the website if you if you know if you have nothing else to write at least put that in here uh, but also you know just just talk about what your clinic is all about talk about yourself you know your your vision your mission stuff like that make it interesting and enticing for the reader to read it okay so the next thing that you need to go in and uh, do is you know add photos now this is important that you are always you know posting new photos onto your listing you can put you know the front the front of your clinic you know the outside uh, the external photos of uh, your signage your board uh, you can put you know <clears throat> photos of your clinic uh, staff you know doctors front office uh, waiting areas um, consultation room what have you you know even even you know happy happy patients you can put those as well so at least post once a week I know uh, post a new photo once a week so that will also help keep your listing fresh next you know uh, what you have to do is um, set up your messages now this is uh, 
something that you can set up you know that will increase if you set up will increase your engagement so important that you do this next remember the reviews now this is where all your reviews would be shown to you from where you can you know reply back to uh, to your prospectives uh, patients or, or the patients who have given positive or negative reviews i have a lot of videos on that you know on best practices how to respond to negative reviews so you can go and watch those but it's important that you are monitoring your reviews regularly and replying as soon as possible so so do this this is very very important okay and this is where you know all the effort that you're going to be putting in to to get good reviews are going to be shown to you here so these are the basics that if you do you know if you just put this in um your listing would be optimized and your chances of ranking higher on a, on a local search will be that much better okay so uh, another thing that before I forget is, is is the posts. Okay, this is another thing that you can use. Uh, you know, uh, you have the ability. You know, the option to put a special offer if you if you're offering some some certain offers for your patients. Um, you can, uh, you know, add an update or an upcoming event that you're hosting, um, and then in general, you know, just post once once twice a week if you can that will also help in uh, engaging and and uh, you know engagement and conversions for your website so i hope this video helped you uh, you have a fair idea of how you should go about you know optimizing your google listings if you have any questions do let me know and uh, i wish you all the best take care bye bye